Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to talk about 10 tips to help you look more stylish. Actually, pretty instantly, these are wonderful tips to remember just when we want to be a little more fashionable, a little more glamorous, a little more stylish. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell because I'm going to do lots more videos about fashion. In fact, the next video that I'm shooting, I'm shooting it this afternoon, is eight ways to not look terrible. And that's kind of a funny take, kind of the opposite of what I'm doing this morning. Okay, let's get to this, the 10 tips to look more stylish. The first tip is to invest in classics. And here's a look at some of those classic clothes. Just looking at them makes me kind of happy inside because not only are they stylish, Stylish now, but they're apt to be stylish in four years, five years, even ten years. The thing I like about classics is you are always in style when you wear them. You can add a few extra trendy flourishes, but if you have a nice blazer, a nice white shirt or tee, and a nice pair of jeans, you can look stylish and classic and kind of rich. The second tip is to know your body, and that is one advantage for all of us being a little more grown up is that we've been around for a few years and we've made some fashion faux pas, some fashion mistakes, and we really should be learning the things that look good on us. And there's nothing wrong with having your fashion uniform. For instance, I am kind of a straight up and down, kind of a Gumby type of a figure, and so I look good in things that emphasize my shoulders, and that's why I tend to wear a lot of halter tops in the summer. I also look good in things that elongate my waist because I have a very short waist and so in the winter I tend to look good in form-fitting sweaters with big wide belts that are worn a little bit below my waist. Now whatever your figure is, you can adopt a fashion uniform, maybe two or three types of outfits that look really good on you and you can keep wearing the same outfits over and over because we need to wear those things which look good on us and I'll give you an example of a don't and it was me. I saw Angie of Hot and flashy doing one of those fashion videos that she often does. It was probably, no wait, it wasn't Nordstrom because the clothes that I'm going to show you, this little outfit here was not Nordstrom. Yay, Nordstrom will be happy about that. But this is something that I thought would look good on me. I was not thinking about my body type and the things that usually I look good in. And this was the result. And of course, I never wore that outfit. And you can see why not, because it may have looked good on Angie, but it did not look good on me. It's important for each of us to know our body type and to dress accordingly. A third tip is to dress in neutrals, and I'm not in a neutral today, but the blacks, the whites, the creams, the browns, those are very elegant, rich looking colors, and also to dress monochromatic. Whenever we dress all in one color, we look longer and leaner and just a little richer and classier. You can see here there are three monochromatic outfits. You don't have to wear black, although that black outfit is absolutely beautiful with that classic black blazer. There's a red outfit in the middle and an all gray monochromatic outfit on the outside. Absolutely lovely, great way to look long and lean and in style. Now my fourth tip is to make friends with a tailor. And actually for many, many years I would buy things off the rack and half the time they wouldn't look that good on me and I would end up not wearing them. And then I realized that the very fashionable women look so good because they have many of their clothing items altered. And I have started doing that in the last few years and it really makes a difference in how you look. Here's a look at a shirt before and after. And this is not me, but I have done this with many, many shirts. I often have them nipped in at the waist like that and it just helps you look a little longer and leaner. And another thing I routinely have altered is jeans and trousers. And here's a look at some trousers that I recently had hemmed. Actually, those trousers need to be a little bit longer. The rule of thumb is that when you're in your heels, your trousers should be about a half an inch above the ground in the back and in the front. But there wasn't really enough material to do that. So in many cases, a good tip is to order your trousers in long so you'll have enough room to have them altered. The fifth tip is to wear pointy-toed shoes. They're very in style lately and they tend to make our feet look longer and our legs look leaner and somehow they just look rich. The shoes on the right are a little bit high in terms of the heel. You don't have to go that high heeled, but just have a pointy toe and that really helps things. Whether in your heels or your flats, having that pointy toe just looks a little bit richer. Now the sixth tip is to tuck your shirts. Yes, that is a trend that's been coming on strong for the last couple of years and it really does help. If you're looking in the mirror in the morning and your shirt isn't tucked and you think something doesn't look quite right, just try to tuck in that shirt. Here's some examples here. This is in my white shirt video and I tucked that white shirt in the middle of my jeans there and there I am in the middle with the shirt left out on that blue shirt and I just tucked it in the last picture. 
Tucking in your shirt just makes you look a little more long and lean and tailored and a little more stylish. Now tip number seven is to remember the tunic rule and that is you need to cover up the area that they call the camel toe area. I guess that's a little weird to say but it is so true and actually I broke that rule at an enrollment meeting that I did. I'm in insurance and it was really embarrassing. I was going to Hutchinson which is about an hour drive from Wichita and I got to Hutchinson about eight o'clock in the morning. It was kind of cold out I remember and I had been thinking of my leggings as pants that morning I guess so I had leggings on and then I had a very short waist length blazer and I remember I went in to do that meeting and the room was filled with men because these are city workers. I was really embarrassed and I felt kind of naked because I had this little short tunic on and then everything was kind of exposed from there down. I think the leggings were brown but it wasn't a good look and here is a reminder of that. Always remember that your tunic needs to cover that area and the next picture is me following the tunic rule. I have a longer tunic over some leggings and it just looks more appropriate. Now tip number eight to look more stylish is to carry a statement purse. Now this is not the designer that it looks like it is but this is a leather purse and it's a classic style and right now the structured purses are in. Here's another little statement purse that I have. You can see in the picture there it's a pink coach and you know it's debatable whether I needed the puff ball on it. And when you invest in a good quality leather purse if you take care of it you can wear it for years and when you think about that if you wear it most days of the year that's really a very small cost per wearing to get a really good quality fashionable look. Now the ninth tip I have is to plan your clothes the night before because when you're getting up in the morning and you're rushing around, rushing out the door, getting everything done before you leave for work, sometimes it's difficult to really have the time you need to plan out a great outfit. When you get in the habit of planning your clothes the night before, it just helps you be a little more creative and take the time necessary to really make that outfit a little bit special. I have a little pull-out metal rack in my closet and every night before I go to bed I put the clothes that I'm going to wear on that rack and so I can really plan things. Doing it like that often means I have the time to add a special scarf or a belt, something I wouldn't have had time to think about if I'd done it the morning of. Now my last tip involves good grooming and that is to think about your nails and please don't look too closely because I need to get into the nail salon but what I do is about every two weeks I go into the nail salon and have gel tips put on my nails. Actually they're not tips it's just gel that is put on and gel is relatively easy on your natural nails. I used to actually wear the tips and that got to be very hard on my nails but now I wear the gels and it really just ensures that your nails don't chip and it helps them grow longer as well because the gel does strengthen your nails. There's just something about having nice nails that makes you feel a little more special, a little more well groomed and look a little more polished. Now if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in making your second half the best half, I hope you'll click that little bell because that will just notify you of my future videos. Now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and I've been using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Let's see what Power Thought we can think about today. Come on God, here we go. Ooh, that's an interesting one. I love my body. I love my body. I create peacefulness in my mind and my body reflects the peacefulness as perfect health. I love that. I create peacefulness in my mind and my body reflects the peacefulness as perfect health. I love my body. And friends, this is something that has been difficult for me throughout the years because I'm a bit of a perfectionist and believe me, perfectionism is really not a good trait. I will tell you that for sure. But over the years, I finally come to accept that no bodies are perfect. I remember Jamie Lee Curtis, who is absolutely beautiful, once did an article in which she showed what her body looked like in bra and underwear and then showed how they photoshopped it and it was night and day. It was unbelievable. And I really realized that those models that we see in those magazines, for the most part, that is just created art. That is not what those women look like. Most of them have some stretch marks and some cellulite and some muffin tops to deal with every now and then. They're not perfect either. So friends, just for today, let's create a peacefulness in our mind and resolve to love our bodies, to appreciate our bodies, to appreciate that our bodies are the vehicles that get us around from day to day and take us through a wonderful second half. Take care. See you next time.